This is Julie Jordan Scott, and I am doing a bonus poetry and writing prompts in the park because I'm at the library and I discovered this book by Frank Bedart. Frank Bedart, for those of you who don't know, is one of Bakersfield's poets. Actually, I think he's probably Bakersfield's only Pulitzer Prize nominated poet. And um, there's his picture. He's an older man now than he was there but um, still remarkable that he is here. So hi, I'm Julie. And um, something about Frank Bedart, um, he's a Pulitzer Prize nominated poet and a remarkable thinker. Um, I haven't read much of his work, so it's really a delight to find this book today at the library. And by the way, I strongly suggest that you go check out your library. Um, it's a resource I don't think I use enough. So I'm devoted to coming here at this beautiful spot within our library because it is park-like. See? Look at that. Right here in this gorgeous library is a park inside that many people don't know about right in downtown Bakersfield. So we're going to read this poem from, in fact I'm going to do it from this perspective because it's so pretty, um, from The Book of the Body by Frank Bedard. The poem we're going to read is called Light and I'm going to give you a writing prompt to start with and you can just contemplate it. But this poem is about someone Frank Bedart, or the narrator of the poem, cannot speak to anymore. So I'd like you to think about conversations that you would like to have now, that perhaps you haven't had, but that you, you feel like you need to have. I'm just thinking of the exact wording to give you. But I'm going to give you that theme. One conversation I would like to have is, and what I would like to say is, okay? One conversation I would like to have is, and what I would like to say is, so often we don't have the conversations we would like to. So this poem, I believe, encourages you to have those conversations. I'm going to read the poem through twice. The first time I'll read it at a regular pace. I'll give you that writing prompt again, and then I'll read the poem again the second time more slowly. I will not respond to your questions or comments during the read of the poem to honor and respect the work of Frank Bedard. So here we go. Light by Frank Bedard. I am asleep, dreaming a terrible dream, so I awake and want to call my father to ask if, just for a short time, the dog can come to stay with me. But the light next to my bed won't light. I press and press the switch. Touching the phone, I can't see to dial the numbers. Can I learn how to keep the dog in my apartment? In the dark, trying a second light, I remember I always knew these machines would fail me. Then I awake, remember my father and the dog are dead and the lights in my room do not go on. Your prompt. What is the conversations, or what is one of the conversations you would like to have? And what would you like to say in that conversation? What is a conversation you would like to have that you haven't had yet? And what would you most like to say? I encourage you to write stream of consciousness style on this one. You might not be ready to write it now. Allow that prompt or that thought to simmer for a while. And then pick up your pencil or pen later or take your fingers on the keyboard later and stream of consciousness, just write it out. Use the words and inspiration of Frank Bedart to guide you. So one more time, the poem Light by Frank Bedart. I am asleep, dreaming a terrible dream. So I awake and want to call my father to ask if, just for a short time, the dog can come to stay with me. But the light next to my bed won't light. I press and press the switch. Touching the phone, I can't see to dial the numbers. Can I learn how to keep a dog in my apartment? In the dark, trying a second light, I remember I always knew these machines would fail me. Then I awake remember my father and the dog are dead and lights in that room do not go on 
So again, the prompt. What is a conversation that you would like to have that you haven't had yet? And if you had that conversation, what would you say? Another thought, hi, good to see you. Another thought is that if you were to have that conversation, maybe you wanna practice having that conversation with a friend. So you could write to that prompt and then talk with a friend about it and then write to the prompt and talk to a friend about it. There are lots of conversations I know that I would like to have that I haven't had. And there's conversations that want to be had that I'm afraid to have. Are you like that too? Use this poem from Frank Bedart to guide you. Yes, yes, Donna. It can be a conversation that you can't have. Oftentimes those conversations that we never had, we can have, uh, it sounds weird, we can have them. That can be quite healing. So if someone is gone or if you're estranged, sometimes the best thing to do is to create that conversation with that person. Um, it's quite healing to so try it, Donna. I would love to hear what happens. All right, so if you're just joining us, thank you for coming in. I'd love to participate with you all again. This is a bonus one today, bonus poetry and writing prompts in the park. I usually do them at 12, 15-ish Pacific time every day, Monday through Friday. Today you got two. So look at my catch.me account if you'd like to do more of this and also subscribe and come back. I love poetic conversations. Good, Donna, I'm glad you understand. Just try it, let me know what happens. Write stream of consciousness style, which means without thinking, just write, 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 write. Um, and then I'm sure words will come. They'll come when we let go and we just let it out there. You can't get it wrong in these conversations you're having with yourself, you know? And you will free up, free, free things up, I'm certain. So thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to have you here today. Please come back, everyone. And this is the book, The Book of the Body by Frank Bedart. So I'm going to now say goodbye for now. And my name is Julie Jordan Scott. My life work is about inspiring your artistic rebirth. It's a privilege to be here with you today. Please